Hi, welcome to this vlog. In my last vlog, I discussed how the government was considering raising uh, the, the ownership stake of multi-brand retailers such as Walmart and Carrefour from 25% from to 51%. That law failed, unfortunately, but uh, very recently, as recent as November 27th, government raised the ownership level of single brand retailers such as uh, Starbucks and Ikea from 51% to 100%. This means that Ikea will be able to, to, to own stake up to 100% and can open its shops uh, stores in India. Now, for, for Swedish furniture and, and houseware giant IKEA, uh, this, this means the flexibility to control everything about how it will market in India without having to team up with, uh, with the, local, the local joint venture partners. Now, Starbucks will also compete with local shops such as Cafe Coffee Day and Barista. One key question for IKEA is how will it market uh, its brand in a, fragmented, in, in a fragmented market such as India, where furniture is not very easy and convenient to sell and for customers to buy. Many middle class households, they, they have their furniture custom made. Now, there is an argument that IKEA will try to, try to, surpa uh, to, to overcome the middle class or overlook the middle class market and instead aim at, 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 at a higher class market, the, the relatively rich households that might want to show off a Western brand. Um, however, according to IKEA, it will also try to, to target middle class and, and lower class segment riffing on, on the strategy that it used in developed countries such as US. Now for this, uh, it will clearly mean that it will have to develop products that make sense in a country where 42% of the population lives on less than $1.25 per day. Now IKEA has years of experience developing a streamlined customer service experience uh, from, from, from the showrooms to delivery will, will prove an advantage in India uh, where furniture superstores haven't been able to master that kind of customer service experience. Customers, customers, Indian customers still complain about inventory shortages, delivery delays and incomplete shipments for example. And IKEA of course will, will be able to tackle these problems but it will have to face some challenges that are inherent in India. For example, its trucks will have to traverse narrow roads, narrow and pothole roads uh, to reach their destination. It will also have to contend the same bureaucracy, legendary bureaucracy, that many other firms have to, have to face. Second thing, in 1990s, uh, several multinational companies, foreign companies, were accused of sourcing their products from, from local companies that used child laborers and that abused many other employees by making them work in difficult conditions. I, since then, since 1990s, IKEA has been involved in tackling ethical uh, issues of ethical production and is working to ensure that their products are free from work, uh, worker exploitation and abuse. According to UNICEF, the state of Uttar Pradesh alone has approximately 1.9 million children between the age of 6 to 14 who are working. In, in an effort to ensure that suppliers don't, don't, don't follow these, these practices of, of exploitation, IKEA has, has invested about billions of dollars to ensure uh, sustainable audit and more transparency. It has also investing, been investing in, in female, female empowerment programs, education, health awareness, and industry-based programs that will ultimately benefit 100 million people in India. So my point is, IKEA, companies such as IKEA, uh, single brand retailers will, will definitely have huge benefit. India's population is 1.2 billion and, and this will, will, will help companies such as IKEA. IKEA uh, anticipates that India's, um, in, in India will be as big a market as Europe, it will be as lucrative. So, so clearly IKEA seems to benefit and Indian population as well uh, benefits as well. IKEA will, will bring good customer service experience as I talked about and, and it, will, it will lower costs for consumers and it will also tackle many social problems thereby, and, and thereby inspire many similar companies to, to, to follow the same standards. So, so um, I, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm against the view that, that single brand retailers should not be allowed in India and even multi-brand retailers uh, you know, should not be allowed in India, I'm against that view.